who doesn't like jewelry. Today, one can find all forms of jewelry almost everywhere. It's the vital part of literally every culture in the world. From diamonds, bling blings, metals to wood and leather and so much more the possibilities and combinations are virtually limitless. The Gold Riches of Varna One of the first cultures to have developed goldsmithing was the Varna civilization. It was developed in eastern Bulgaria, near the Black Sea, in an area rich with lakes. The remains we have today are from a site of the necropolis in which Varnians interred their dead, and where graves were dated as early as 4560 to 4450 BC. Glasswork of Egypt Perhaps the most famous jewelry belongs to the cradle of civilization Egypt. The tradition that was carried on and on by the goldsmiths of Egypt was responsible for the Utankhamun's burial mask, the bust of Nefertiti, the golden capstone of the Pyramid of Giza, and many other notable wonders. But none of that would have been possible if it weren't for the first steps which were made in crafting necklaces and head dressings some 5,000 years ago. Mesopotamian Jewelry most of the Mesopotamian jewelry was made on thin sheets of metal, set with variously colored gems. The oldest pieces we saved are from the Royal Cemetery of Ur, dating to as early as 2900 BC. The meticulous record-keeping of the Mari gives us an insight into some pieces that have not been recovered, for instance, one record speaks of a necklace of rounded lapis lazuli beads, with 28 of them rounded, and 29 fluted. The Neanderthal Jewelry from Croatia In late 2013 a professor who's in charge of the Neanderthal collection deriving from the site of Krapina, Croatia, took a fresh look at some eagle talons found among the items. She noticed numerous cut marks on the talons and realized that they must have been used as jewelry. Nisaria Snail Beads In the site of Skull Cave in Israel, researchers have found beads made from shells of a sea snail called Nisarius. These beads are the first known jewelry made by modern humans dated as early as 110,000 years. Ostrich shell beads of Kenya. For a long time, it was thought that the oldest personal ornament ever was found in the site of Incapunia Mudo, translated as the Twilight Cave, in Kenya. It is believed that they are 40,000 years old. Denisovan Stone Bracelet In 2008 on an excavation site in the Altai region of Siberia, 
a stone bracelet was found among some of the human remains. When the layer of soil and the material were dated, it was found that the remains in that particular layer were somewhere around 40,000 years old. The artisan who made the items was then thought to have been a modern human, but that was quickly refuted, and was confirmed that the person who made this piece was indeed belonging to the Denisovan people. Thank you.